Hello everyone and welcome to What The Math. This is Anton and today I'm actually going to answer a question that a lot of you have been asking me privately, specifically related to uh, how to grow your own channel and how to find out if your channel is actually successful. Now, this may seem like I'm actually promoting my channel by telling you to subscribe to my channel, but this is actually the topic for today. This is where we're going to try to calculate, uh, using mathematics of course, uh, if your channel is successful and uh, what kind of a growth you can expect in the next few weeks, few months, and possibly in a few years. Now, I'm going to be using my personal channel as a kind of an example here, but I'm also going to be ta taking a look at the uh, the most famous channel, PewDiePie's channel specifically, to try to calculate what constitutes or what makes a successful channel. So here's the questions we're going to be answering today. The first question here is, how much growth should I expect? Now, we're talking about the subscriber growth. So basically, in terms of subscribers, how many subscribers should you be getting, let's just say, every day? Now, many of you have mentioned, uh, hey, your channel is growing, but, you know, in comparison to PewDiePie, who is getting 50,000 subscribers a day, that's just not as uh, impressive, I guess. Well, yes and no. And I'll explain to you why that the answer is actually yes and no in a few minutes. Uh, the second question we're going to be answering is this. How many subscribers will I, or specifically you, have? Uh, and here I'll actually show you a way to calculate uh, the projective sort of score of the subscribers that you'll have, let's just say, in a year or two years and so on and so forth. So you'll actually be able to try to estimate how many subscribers you have. And the last question we're going to answer is this. So is my channel, specifically your channel, successful? In other words, is your channel growing? Is it going to be doing well? Or is it stagnated and basically stuck somewhere and it's not growing anymore so maybe you should try to reevaluate your topic your theme and try to improve your videos so let's just start uh slowly and i'm going to use uh, some simple math here hopefully not too complicated and use my um virtual calculator to try to help you uh, to calculate all of this stuff now before we start let's just talk about bacteria why well because this is actually the similar concept here and here is a simple graph of bacterial growth. Many of you that have done algebra may remember this from early years. Uh, so here we go, time versus bacteria growth. As the time progresses, bacteria grows exponentially. This is called an exponential function. It has a formula that kind of looks similar to this. Bacteria, uh, bacterial function is usually 2 to the power of x. Now what we're looking for is, of course, this right here. Because it's an exponential function, we're looking for the exponent. The exponent here represents uh, time. Uh, in, in other words, this x is the time. Um, in our case, we're going to be using a very similar formula. So we're basically are going to do this. And uh, before I start, uh, my apologies for comparing subscribers to bacteria because that's not, not exactly what, how I wanted to start this, but uh, it's the same principle. It's basically a population graph, population growth graph. And here, uh, subscribers, s, equals to some number, let's just say number two again, to the power of d, which is going to be days. Uh, so this is how many subscribers you'll be getting um, in the perfect scenario. But obviously your subscribers do not double. Actually, I don't really think anyone's channel will double subscribers every day. So that's not a really realistic example. We're gonna actually take a look at a very realistic example um, in the next picture. And specifically, I'm going to actually use my example. This is something that happened to me maybe a few months ago when I actually reached the magical number a thousand. Now, this is actually where I think most people that use YouTube will agree uh, you should start measuring your success from a thousand subscribers. Now, if you can reach this number, this is where the math actually kicks in and makes a lot of sense. Until that number, you should try your best to try to basically get that magical thousands, thousandth subscriber. Uh, so, okay, so what happens after you, after you get a thousand? So, in my case, this is what started happening. On day two, I think I had like thousand and two subscribers. On day three, I think I had 1,004, and you get a pattern. So every day, I think I uh, kind of increased by about two subscribers. So here, it was a, about two subs per day after that 1,000th. Now, does that mean that I actually continuously get two subscribers? In other words, does that mean that my graph is actually going to be a linear graph? No, it doesn't. Here's the beauty of this. It's actually not a linear graph. This, this is a population growth graph that is very similar to bacterial graph, Except that that number, instead of being a 2 that we used before, 2 to the power of x, it's actually something else. It's actually some other number, so here y equals some other number to the power of x, where x is once again a day. Now, what is this number? Well, that's actually where you need to do a little bit of math, looking at your own channel, and try to figure out um, how many subscribers per day do you get? 
and uh, then divide it by the total number of subscribers. So let me just, uh, I'm gonna back up a little bit and just explain it to you. How do we find this magical number? So let's just say we're getting two subscribers per day uh, and our total number of subscribers is currently a thousand. So we take this two divided by a thousand and what we get is something along the lines of this. This is our number. Now we need to convert this to percentage just to make it a little bit simpler to understand. And this is actually 0.2%. Uh, now this is what I was getting when I just started with my uh, 1,000 1, subscribers. And um, it's actually a relatively good number to have. So this is what you want to have per day. You want to increase your channel by this much per day. Now, what is that formula now? So Y equals what? Well, it's not actually 0.2 and it's not 0.002, it's actually this. It, you're taking this number and you adding it to 100%. So the formula for my channel, uh, when it just started was this. Y equals 1.002 to the power of X, where X is days, X here is one day, and Y is number of subscribers after a certain amount of days, number of subs. Um, and this is if I had 0.2%. Now, this is actually not even that successful or that uh, fast growing, to be honest. But I think anything above 0.1%, at least in my experience, it, or basically one subscriber per thousand when you start, and then as it increases, it becomes a bigger number. Um, so 0.1% is actually where you want to be. Anything below 0.1%, you may want to reassess your channel. Um, anything above and that means you're actually really successful. So, okay, so what does that mean? That means that, let's just say after one year, which is X equals 365. So after one year, we're going to have Y equals 1.002 to the power of 365. Now, what is this number going to be? Oh, and I actually just realized I made a mistake. I forgot to multiply this by the original number and the original number here is 1,000. Uh, 1, so multiply this by 1,000 to make this um, into the actual number you'll have afterwards. So this will give you the factor that you need to multiply by this thousand. So this number here is going to be 2,074. So that's after one year. Uh, all right, so it doesn't, doesn't seem like it's a lot, but let's just say you now you, you've been doing this for two years. So after two years, what will you have? After two years, it's going to be already 4,300. After three years, it's going to be close to 9,000 subscribers. So basically, you can see it's actually increasing exponentially. And as you, uh, you know, keep doing this more and more years, you will actually increase this dramatically. So after five uh, years, this will actually be... So after five years, this will actually be close to 38,000 subscribers, which already means that you, you're you quite successful. This is, you know, past the 10,000 mark. It's, uh, it means that you're probably making good money there as well. Uh, so essentially, this is a channel that's growing relatively well and uh, is relatively successful. So if you have 0.2% um, increase per day. Now, all right, so that's, that's good. Let's see, uh, just uh, for a comparison, let's see what this guy was making. And by this guy, I mean this guy, PewDiePie. So... We know that he started his channel on April 2010, so we're going to assume that he had zero subscribers by then. This is all from um, from Wikipedia, so we're not sure how accurate this is, but this is what Wikipedia says. December 2011, he had 60,000. July 2012, he had, he had 1 million. September 2012, he had 2 million. Now, all right, so did he beat this formula? Did he actually had some kind of a magical... Um burst of growth or was he still following the same formula of y equals some number to the power of x i'm going to assume that he was so let's find out what his number was and how many subscribers he was getting per day in terms of percentages not numbers so let's start with this number here and let, uh, actually let's just calculate how many months difference this is and how many days this will be so from december to july that's so between December and July, that's about seven months. I'm going to just take an average here. And let's just say there was a 200 day difference between these two. Uh, it could be more, it could be less. Let's just say just to, to keep this uh, with a slightly higher number, we're going to go for 200 days. So he started six, with 60,000. And uh, to, to calculate this, I'm actually going to use my favorite Webit EMU. This is a online, uh, not online, sorry. Um, an emulator calculator you can use and it's absolutely free. Uh, so we're going to go into apps here, ch choose finance. And this is actually finance financial kind of a problem because here it's actually um, also known as the compound growth. So um, the way it works is this. So N is number of counts, number of days in this case. And in our case, it is going to be, let's clear this. It's going to be 200 days. 
what is our interest? This is what we're looking for. We're going to skip this for now. Primary value. This is PV. Uh, PV here is 60,000. 60,000. Um, none of these are important. And final value. Uh, now, this has to be for some reason negative. I still don't know why, but it has to be negative. And the final value here is 1 million. So we're going to change this to 1 million. Now, we're going to scroll up here and click on the green button and then solve. And this will give us the number of interest for, for interest, that is. So the interest here is 1.42. So that means that he was getting about 1.42% subscribers per day, which is actually pretty successful. That means that his number was like this. 1.0142 to the power of x now this is in his uh explosion days when he was he became like the super popular star everyone was talking about him uh, he was even uh, he spoke at some conference uh, somewhere in spain i believe uh, so this is where you know everyone wanted to be um on his channel so this was 1.42 percent now let's see if we actually keep this percentage if he's going to get 2 million in september which is actually only how many days is this about 60 days, I guess. So this is 60 days later. So let's uh, let's do this uh, using um, the calculator again. So we're going to keep the interest the same. Now, this is going to be 60, two months later. Uh, primary value here, this time is going to be 1 million. So let's see if he actually is going to get 2 million um, af uh, as he did in, in real life. And here the answer is surprisingly actually higher. He was supposed to get 2.3 million, but he got only 2 million. That means that... In this period, he actually uh, started already waning. So this was the explosion period. This is when he had a super, super crazy amount of subscribers. And this is sort of what sometimes happens to uh, some channels where they basically explode and they have a really, really fast growth. Um, and then he started getting a little bit less growth. I mean, it's still growing, but it's just a little bit less. And there's actually another number um, on Wikipedia, February 2013. And this is when he got his... 5 million subscribers so let's see what the um uh, the percentage the increase per day was uh, between these two numbers between 2 million and 5 million here from september to february that's five months so that's approximately 150 days so let's go here again and we're going to change this to 150 primary value is 2 million uh final value is 5 million i'm gonna erase the rest and let's see what his percentage per day was. And here the answer is only 0.61. So it actually decreased. And if you keep calculating this, you'll actually realize that he's slowly approaching a number that's, that was very similar to what I used to have, um, which was 0.2%. But his, I think, is still a little bit higher. So here his, uh, not Y, sorry. His subs per day has actually decreased to approximately... 0.6 percent per day which is actually still very it's a very big number it's a very successful channel many successful channels have anywhere between 0.1 to 1 percent so um essentially he his channel and i mean this is the most successful channel on youtube had a, a, in his uh heyday when he was growing really really fast anywhere between um uh, 0.6 and 1.42 percent this was probably the highest number that he had per day and this is is more likely to be the more accurate representation of how his channel was growing for the next few years and i, I think today it's actually much much lower so even though he might be getting 50,000 subscribers per day today 50,000 subscribers from 45 million subscribers that he already has is actually only about 0.11 percent which is uh, even lower that, uh, than what the number I showed you in the beginning. Um, so, yes, his channel is growing. He's very successful. But that doesn't mean that he's more successful than you. Uh, because if you, as long as you can keep up with this number, as long as your number can be 0.11, uh, sorry, 0.1% or higher, um, your channel will be growing and will become successful as well, as long as you keep, keep it going for uh, the next few years. And so how do you actually calculate your personal growth and how do you find out how many subscribers you'll have yourself in the future? Well, it's pretty simple. Like I said, first find the number of subscribers um, you get per day. And this is usually shown on your YouTube uh, dashboard. Uh, it shows you the monthly progress uh, in subscribers per day and uh, try to find the average. So let's just say um, you currently have... Um, 10,000 subscribers and you're getting about 30 subscribers per day so that means that your personal growth is about 0.3 percent per day 
Okay, so that's not too bad. Not, uh, I mean, it could be obviously better, but I think this is a pretty successful number. And so here, what you do is this. Uh, you, you take your original number, which is 10,000. And I'm, I'm going to try to calculate this just, just for fun. So uh, 10,000 multiplied by 1, which is 100%, 0 0.003. So this is 100% um, plus the 0.3% that you have. And then this to the power of days. How many days? So let's just say I want to know if I have this growth for the next, um, I don't know, let's just say five years, what will the channel size be? If I can maintain this channel for the next five years, how big will it be? Assuming that this number doesn't change and we just keep growing just like the bacteria were growing constantly, constantly for the next five years. What will this subscriber number be? And so here, let's use the calculator again. So 1825 days, that's five years. Um, interest, uh, or I guess the growth per day is point, oops, point three percent, point three percent. Premier value, we, you start with 10,000 subscribers, which is usually when your channel becomes really successful, that's when you get 10,000. And so we're looking for the final value. And the, what we do is we click on the green button and then click on solve right here. You don't really see it. And the number, the magical number after five years of growth at this constant rate is 2,367,024. And that's, to me at least, that's a pretty successful channel. So if you actually have a certain number of subscribers um, per day, if your channel is constantly growing and you're getting a certain number of subscribers per day, and you can find what that percentage or what that number is compared to your total number of subscribers, you can actually calculate your growth after a certain number of days using this simple formula. And like I mentioned before, just uh, judging from the experience and from what I observed from other YouTubers, if you have at least 0.1%, and this is what PewDiePie has right now, 0.1% per day, and that's, um, so let's just say you have a thousand subscribers. If you're getting at least one subscriber a day, that's already, that means you have a growing successful channel. And the maximum I've seen was, I think, PewDiePie as well. And this is with the number we got before, 1.42%. If you can beat that, uh, congratulations, you're actually more successful than PewDiePie. Now, obviously, this will take time for you to get to those numbers, but this is essentially the math behind the subscription and how you can actually try to calculate how many subscribers you'll have in the future. And so this is how you can try to calculate your own success, your own uh, channel progress, and basically find out how to calculate um, the growth of other people's channels and also try to figure out if you're doing uh, a good job on your own channel as well. Anyway, so hopefully this was kind of clear and answers some of the questions I've been receiving um, online. And uh, hopefully you, you kind of understood the math behind this. Now, once again, this is actually called compound interest growth, also known as exponential growth. And uh, this is essentially the formula that you can try to use to figure out the number of subscribers. And so if you've enjoyed this video, do subscribe to my channel so I can actually increase my number a little bit as well. And uh, don't forget to like this video if you've enjoyed it as well. And if you have any friends who are interested in YouTube or want to find out more how to become more successful in YouTube, do share this with your friends so they can learn a little bit of mathematics behind it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.